Everyone, good morning. I'm out this morning in this absolutely gorgeous forest. This is an area that I like to come to to look for long-tailed weasels to try to photograph. I've got this rock slide down here, and last year when I was in this area, I was able to see some uh, long-tailed we weasels pretty regularly in that rock slide as they were hunting for prey. So I'm back again hoping to find and photograph them. They can be extremely difficult to find and once you found them to photograph. You know, as a wildlife photographer, a question that I constantly hear is what is the most difficult animal to photograph? You know, that's a question that maybe you've wondered yourself or maybe you've even been asked that yourself. And for each wildlife photographer, that answer to that question is gonna be a little bit different. We each use different methods when photographing wildlife. We each focus on different species. We each gravitate towards different species to photograph as wildlife photographers. And we each just have those species that no matter how hard we try, how much time we put into it, we can just never seem to find and photograph even when it feels like everybody else is able to photograph those species. So in this week's video, I wanted to do something a little bit different and answer that question and I'll uh, kind of touch on the different species that have been most difficult for me to photograph over the years. I'll touch on uh, the methods that I've tried to use to photograph some of those species, and then I'll just touch on why they've been so difficult for me to photograph over the years. And in this video, I'm not gonna be covering species that I've never actively gone out and tried to photograph, like wolverines or something crazy like that. And obviously, I'm not going to include species that aren't even in my area or areas that I've visited, like a clouded leopard or cheetah or something like that. These are just gonna be species that I've actively spent time trying to photograph. And again, I'll review the methods that I've tried to photograph them and why they're just so dang difficult to, to get for me. So let's jump right into it and review some of these animals. So to start off, let's talk about an animal that I actually saw here yesterday while I was looking for these long-tailed weasels. This is an animal that can be incredibly difficult to find and when you do find him, he's just so dang fast and sleek that it can be hard to just photograph him even if you do see him. Uh, these are martens that I'm talking about. American martens are essentially cat-sized weasels. Uh, they're relatives to these long-tailed weasels that I'm out here looking for. And in all my time spent in ideal habitat for them over the years, I've only ever seen four of them, including the one that I saw here yesterday. All four of those have been within the last year that I've seen them. Uh, of those four, I've only ever been able to get a decent picture of one of them. Again, just because they are so fast and they tend to stick to pretty dense areas while looking for food, so it's just hard to photograph them. Uh, last year, last fall, I was making my way through a similar forest like this, looking for black bears to photograph. And I was making my way through the forest when I saw these two shadows move out of the corner of my eye and I looked over and I quickly realized that they were two martens making their way through. Uh, one of the martens just continued right through, but the other one stopped for about two seconds to just curiously check me out. And in those two seconds, I was so glad that I had my camera settings ready. I had it turned on, had everything ready, and I was able to get a quick picture of it. And that's really the only decent image of a martin that I've ever been able to get. Uh, it was just a quick series of like two or three images. And you know, in all the years that I've spent time looking for them, that's what I've got. And there have been a lot of people who are able to successfully find and photograph these animals, but for me, it has definitely been one of the most difficult animals to find and photograph. While we're on the subject of weasels, let's talk about another member of this wonderful family of animals. Minks have been extremely challenging for me to photograph. Over the years, I've had a handful of sightings of these awesome little water weasels with no real great opportunities to photograph them. 
all until about two months ago when I had a chance encounter with the mink that led to so many other wonderful opportunities to observe and get video footage of these animals. Over the last couple months, I'll be honest with you, I have spent just a ridiculous amount of time trying to find these minks, trying to photograph them, and get some decent images. And with this time that I've put into them, honestly, I've got relatively few images that I'm happy with. The reason being, minks have these extremely dark coats, and when they're out making their way through the landscape, they tend to stick to the most, the deepest shadows, and there's just not very many opportunities for me to get them out in the open with enough light to be able to photograph them. They're incredibly fast animals, so I need a quick shutter speed when photographing them, and again, I just don't have the light for that most of the time, so I stick to getting video footage of them, and I've just got relatively few images of them. And with all this time that I have spent trying to find and photograph them, of the images that I do have, I am happy with a few of them. But, uh, you know, given the amount of time I've spent focused on them and the relatively few images I have, I thought minks definitely deserved a spot on this list of animals that have been most difficult for me to photograph. Let's take a break from weasels and talk about something a tad bigger. These next few species I'm actually going to categorize just into one and call them wild cats, specifically bobcats, lynx, and mountain lions. Of these three species, I definitely have the most experience photographing bobcats. I've been so fortunate over the years to be able to find and photograph bobcats in a variety of different ecosystems throughout different seasons of the year. Every year I spend multiple weeks just dedicated to trying to find and photograph bobcats and given the amount of time that I spend looking for them and the relatively few images and video footage I have of them, I thought they definitely warranted a spot on this list. Uh, again, I've been extremely fortunate over the years to have been able to photograph multiple bobcats over multiple seasons. And if you're curious at all about the methods that I use to find and photograph these beautiful cats, go check out a video I put out a couple of months ago where I detail all this information out. Next, let's talk about lynx. This is a species that's different from all the others on this list today, being that I've never actually seen or photographed one. The reason I added it onto my list today is because I have spent a good amount of time out looking for them and tracking them, and I've been just minutes behind tracking them, and they just disappear into this thick landscape that I can't follow them in. And so they are a species that have been difficult for me to find and photograph, being that I've never actually found and photographed one, but I thought I would add them onto this list today, just categorizing them in with these other cats that I'm talking about. Lynx are also different because I don't have them in my area where I live, so in order to start looking for them, I have to travel quite far to get out and look for them, so it's an animal that I can't dedicate as much time to as I would like but uh, definitely one that seems to be very hard to find, and hopefully when I do find one, it won't be that hard to photograph it. I guess we'll see. So let's talk about an animal that I actually do have in my area that I'm able to get out regularly and look for. And unlike the lynx, this is a species that I have been blessed with multiple sightings over the years, and even a couple of opportunities to get some decent images. Mountain lions. I don't even know where to begin with these guys. I've spent countless weeks over the years looking for mountain lions to observe and photograph. I've spent time backpacking, snowshoeing, tracking them up one side of an icy mountain and down the other. I've spent countless hours just waiting motionless through winter blizzards, just hoping for a glimpse of these beautiful, beautiful cats. And like I said, I have been blessed over the years to have a had opportunities to get a couple of images that I'm just really happy with, with these beautiful, beautiful, elusive cats. And each time I see one, I just remind myself how blessed and lucky I am to be witnessing what I am. A beautiful species that most people will never have the opportunity to see in the wild. What makes mountain lions so difficult to photograph is, first of all, they are just elusive. Even for being such a large animal, 
they're elusive, they're extremely good at hiding in whatever area they're in, and they camouflage extremely well into their surroundings. So even if you're lucky enough to see one, chances are it's going to be hidden behind some sort of brush or something, or it'll sneak right out of that area without you even realizing. They are incredibly stealthy cats, and uh, when you do find one, kind of like the mink or the marten that I mentioned, they're just very, very quick and they can get out of that area and leave you in the dust so quickly without any images that it can just be hard to photograph them. And so for me personally, this animal takes the cake of all the animals that I've talked about today on this list. Mountain lions have definitely been the most difficult animal for me to photograph, but as I've mentioned, I have been blessed to have been able to get some footage of them and one of these weeks I would love to come out with a full video about mountain lions finding and photographing them and uh, I'll hopefully have enough footage of them in about 70 years or so <laughs> and uh, come out with a video completely about mountain lions. The final species that I wanted to talk about in today's video is my absolute favorite species. Some of you might already know what that is. Wolves. Wolves are a species, an animal that I've just been completely obsessed with since I was about six years old. I just think they're so beautiful, uh, just highly intelligent social animals uh, that are so fun to observe and photograph when I have the opportunity. Uh, given all the encounters that I've had with wolves, I just have a couple of images that I'm happy with. Most of the encounters that I have with these beautiful animals take place when it's too dark to actually get pictures of them, but these are some of my most favorite wildlife encounters that I've ever had, and I just cherish the memories of them. You know, I love getting images of animals, but for me, the experience is a huge part of the wildlife photography, and the experiences that I've had with the wolves I don't know if there's any other experiences that top those when it comes to wildlife encounters. So again, I cherish those memories. They're just such beautiful animals to photograph. Even though I don't have them in my area, I do try to dedicate a couple of weeks each year in wolf habitat looking for these beautiful animals to, in hopes to find and photograph them. But you know, Mother Nature likes to taunt me and uh, she plays really hard to get when it comes to wolves. So even though I spend a lot of time tracking and looking for them, I still have relatively few images. But, you know, again, it's the experiences that I love, just being out in these beautiful places, looking for these wonderful, wonderful animals. You know, wildlife photography is hard. There is no question about it. But it's also just so incredibly rewarding. More often than not, I go out and I come back at the end of the day without the images that I was hoping for or without any images whatsoever. But I always feel just so incredibly lucky and blessed to be able to be out here in the realm of these beautiful animals that I'm hoping to observe and photograph. And when I do get those images that I was hoping for, those images that I can't stop looking at or thinking about, it is so incredibly special. And each time I see those images, I just remember the amazing encounters and experiences that I have in these beautiful, beautiful locations. So this has been my personal list of animals that are most difficult to photograph. I would love to hear from you guys because again, the answer to that question is gonna be different for each of us. What animals have proven to be the most difficult for you to find and photograph over the years and why? I would love to hear from you guys down in the comments, so let me know. Thank you so much for following along this week, you guys. If you couldn't tell, the sun's coming up and it's getting pretty harsh where I'm at. So I'm gonna make my way down into this little drainage here, this little rock slide, and continue my search for these long-tailed weasels in the area. I'm hoping, just fingers crossed, that I can see and photograph some today. Thank you so much for following along. We'll see you next week. Have a good one. Stay safe out there. See ya.